Hey Sofrito lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you this week's mukbang from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx, the Bronx, the home of hip hop and salsa. I am bringing you a chipotle burrito mukbang. It is late. I am tired and I need to have my dinner. It was a long day at summer camp today, so I'm having a late dinner. Uh, ordered from DoorDash. Oh, let's get into it. Canitas. This is going to be messy because we all know these these chipotle um, burritos will fall apart on you um, with a quickness. So, mm. 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 oh god. Carnitas, fajita vegetables, corn, white rice, pinto beans. It's got it all. It is falling apart already. I took one bite and it's already all over the place. Mmm. Mmm. I hope folks are doing well. Hope you're having a great dinner. Please join me in having mine. Look, again, lots of guac, lots of sour cream, lots of veggies inside. Oh. Mm. Decided to order from Chipotle. DoorDash, didn't think about it. I'm hungry, let me just get whatever, I don't care, let me get a burrito. No thought, no real thought. <laughs> That's what summer camp does. It drains me of my intelligence and my planning. Once I get out of that school, once I get away from those kids, once I get away from that staff, my brain is fried. Mira, give you a better view of what's inside. Not that great, but it'll... Mm. Mm. I'm practicing some self-care today. That's how I'm gonna be able to survive this summer because there's a lot happening, a lot I wanna do for the channel, a lot I wanna, uh, wanna do for work, a lot of wanna, what I wanna do for my political work, there's a lot happening. Very lit limited time, limited energy, but a lot to do. So I'm thinking about a lot of self-care. Some diet sun-kissed, oh my God. <laughs> um, just thinking about self-care, I have been doing something that I'm not used to doing, which is going to bed kind of early because I do have to get up around 6 or 6.30, but I'm, and I'm one of those people that, you know, if I had to normally get up around 6 or 6.30, I'd probably go to bed at like 2, 3 o'clock, you know. I'm going to bed early, practicing that self-care, trying to eat. Um, sometimes, have you ever worked so hard that like lunch, breakfast, and dinner just don't happen because you're just working and you're focused on work? I'm making sure that I eat. It's part of self-care is eating. It's also a part of, you know, the diabetic diet. You know, you have to make sure you're eating. You got to take in those carbs. Mm. Sleeping, eating. I am not bringing any work home. This summer, work stays at school. Does not come home with me on the weekends, will not come home with me weeknights. Hey guys, I had for the first time a camera issue. Um, <laughs> I'm usually the one shot wonder and some camera issues popped up. So as I was saying, I refuse to bring anything home. Uh, I am not letting my home space be invaded by my workspace. I am desperately trying to get this burrito to work with me here. Um, so yeah, no work from home. Mm. So, Sleeping right, eating, making sure that I don't bring work from home, and exercise. Okay, despite the fact that I can be exhausted after work, sometimes before or after work, I walk to work. 
I live on 197th Street. My job is on 181st, so it's about 16 blocks. Excellent walk. Um, Bronx blocks are long. I have been walking either before work or after work. It's a way of clearing my head, getting myself either ready for the day or decompressing from the day. And when I do it after work, the decompression really helps. Just walking, walking is just really cleansing and very, mm. cleansing and really refreshing. Reinvigorating all the all the re's. <laughs> Refreshing, reinvigorating, re-energizing, all of that. Mm. I'm practicing self-care, guys. I have to. Because when you work one of those programs where you're working 12 to 14 hour days for like oh, two months straight, Monday through Friday, if you don't take the time for self-care, you are going to be just a walking zombie by the end of it. Mm. So, as you can see, the burrito is basically falling apart. Any minute now, I'm going to get a fork. And it's going to become like an open face sandwich type of thing. Oh. Um... Sleeping, eating, walking, not bringing anything home from work, letting my burrito just fall apart all over me. There was one more thing I wanted to talk about with my self-care. Oh, making sure, and this was something that I talked about in a few other mukbangs before this one, making sure that my free time is fun and restful. Um... Yeah, my weekends have been really focused on having fun. And at resting, but making sure that I'm doing something. That my rest isn't just me staying at home doing absolutely nothing for the whole weekend. <clears throat> I mean, going to the movies, restaurants, having fun with David before he left. Making sure that I'm not home just being a lazy sack, going to the other extreme from going, being super busy to just being too, super slothful and not doing anything. I have to, I have to plan for fun. Last weekend, I went to the 6th Avenue Food Festival on Sunday and just walked around eating, window shopping, just chilling, because I needed that. It would have been so easy to just stay home and do nothing. Going downtown to get my comic books. Going to see a movie. Seeing friends. Just doing something. Seeing relatives. Visiting my mom. I just, I have to make sure that weekends are very restful, that I sleep in, but that I focus on doing something, of having a purpose for the weekend and not just saying, okay, I'm tired from the week, let me just veg out and then sometime Sunday night feel like, oh man, I should have really went out and did something. I started cooking again. Last weekend, I made an amazing ropa vieja, a Cuban style shredded beef. Loved it, it went great. David loved it as well. I was so happy to cook, it felt so good to cook. I wish I could cook during the weeknights, but it's just as difficult because I am tired. I like I, I don't want to get home to prep, marinate season, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, mm. look at the burrito just falling apart. Mm. Just doing everything I can for self-care. And it's working and I'm feeling good. And also, my boss and I, you know, I'm the assistant to the program. My director and I, we were really good about 
taking on some stuff head on proactively during the after school year. So sliding into summer camp was uh, not as tumultuous as it usually can be. We were very well organized, so I'm proud of that. Very proud of that. So, so Frito lovers, I am in the process of trying to get this burrito to work with me. <laughs> this burrito is just done. Oh my God. Like 85% of it is all over this plate now. Oh my God. The tortilla is amazing. Mm. Okay, ooh. I've been giving, outside of all the professional stuff, I've done the talk on self-care. Take whatever you want from it. <laughs> okay, I am seriously considering one of my goals for this channel, ASMR. I think I found a way to do ASMR in a way that won't make me crack up and laugh. This summer, like I said, I'm gonna try to bring you some restaurant reviews. I'm gonna try to bring you some more tasting videos, keep up with my mukbangs, do maybe do one or two cooking shows. I wanna add one more goal which is to actually do an ASMR. Like a real ASMR, not like the fake out that I did before. And I've tried to do some real a ASMRs. I just start laughing <laughs> hysterically through them when I'm like chomping on stuff and trying to be like, <laughs> I try to do like ASMR that you, to, you know, wave my hands around and <laughs> I just start laughing. And, you know, the whispering also makes me laugh as well. It's just like you have to be very serious with ASMR. Because I want everyone to get the brain boners. I want everyone to feel all the tingles. And I just I just start laughing hysterically. <laughs> um, so I am going to get my shit together and there will be an ASMR maybe in, in August. Mm. This is no longer a burrito. This is a, like a tortilla dip thing. <laughs> I'm eating this like it's Ethiopian food. This is the injera and this is the rest of the food and I'm just scooping it up for you. So Frito lovers, this is this week's Chipotle mukbang. It was a burrito. Now it's Ethiopian food. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, share it. If you're not already become a Sofrito lover, become a part of the Sofrito Familia. Click the subscribe, click the notification bell so you know when I post. Um, follow us, follow me on all of Sofrito and My Soul social media. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Look for Sofrito and My Soul. I'm also on sofritoandmysoul.blogspot.com. Read my daily blog. I've become such a bad blogger for the summer. Gotta work on it. So, Vinito lovers, go out there, go taste for yourself. Have a whole bunch of culinary adventures. Como siempre, mucho amor. Adios.